Hi everyone, really good to see you again. Where are we? We've come to Whitechapel and we're going to one of the most famous curry houses in the whole of London. Where are we going? Tayabs. Now Tayabs was opened in 1972 and it's been owned by the same family since then as well. Now loads of you have recommended I give this place a try, not just one or two, I'm talking loads, mainly because it's so famous for their, their meats and their chops. Wow, I'm really looking forward to this one. Now we've come here very early because this place gets so, so busy. As always, let's give it a go. Oh my lord, take a look around here. Look at the size of this place. My gosh, all here, put it up here. It carries on down there. Well, funny enough, it's not gonna be hard to get a seat, is it? So let's grab this one here. Okay, so here we are inside. Now, I haven't seen the ghost, it's just the lighting. One minute it's absolutely brilliant sunshine outside and the next minute it's, uh, yeah, usual, rain. Now, coming to this restaurant, Ooh. This curry house, it's got to be the largest curry house I've ever been in my life. Now we're upstairs here. We've come up here because it's nice and quiet. Downstairs is obviously quite busy. Then you've got the downstairs area. As you come through the entrance, you've got loads of seating um, to the right-hand side. Then you go through a little area and there's loads of seating in the middle. And then to the left-hand side, you've got even, even more. And that leads into the kitchen so you can see everything being cooked. It doesn't end there. You then go downstairs and you've got the whole thing again. It's massive. Standards, impeccable, and staff could be friendlier. I sort of said, Look, there's any chance of um, coming upstairs here because it's quiet. So I said, Yeah, no problem, sit where you want. <laughs> okay, on to the menu. Now, first things first on this menu, it's a tight menu. It's not really extensive, there's not loads of uh, dishes on there. So, taking a look at the starters. Now, I'm, I'm, I've cheated, I know what I'm having already, but really nice range of starters. Now, the interesting thing is, it's not over the top pricey either. I'm looking there, um, I'll give you an example, the chicken tikka in here, uh, five pieces comes in at £5.50. You know, I think that's quite reasonable. Now, I'm going to go for the lamb chops. Yes. Um, now, four pieces of the lamb chops is £9.95. And I'm looking down here on the main dishes. I'm going to go for their korai chicken. Um, now, you can have that small or large. So if there's a bigger party, they obviously order it larger. Um, and that's £12. Then onto the vegetarian dishes. Now, I love my okra and you keep saying, Gary, you've got to stop having okra. So I'm going to not have okra today. I'm going to go for the sagaloo. Now I do like my spinach and obviously with the potato there as well. Um, and that's nine pound. Then uh, looking down here, you've got um, naans here. Now I'm going to go for a garlic naan. That's three pounds 75. And I'm going to have that with um, some pillar rice because I made a mistake at Vereshwami. I didn't have the rice. so. Definitely going to have rice this time, and that's four pound fifty. Now the interesting thing is they have daily specials here, and uh, all the different days of the week they do a, a, a speciality, and the speciality is korai lamb chops. I'm having lamb already, so I can't really sort of go for that. Then you have a look down here; they got their drinks, um, desserts. Oh, hang on, on the drinks, I haven't mentioned it, but you actually bring your own alcohol in here. So you, you can go, you can get a bottle of wine or some beer or whatever you fancy, and you bring it in. They'll open it all up for you. So yeah. So that makes it a little bit cheaper, doesn't it? Then a range of desserts, and they've got the chef specialities here as well. Now, when I actually came through the door, you'll see, I'll ask the cameraman to take shots of it there. They've actually got a fantastic range of um, desserts there as well. So take a look at that. Now, over here, I've got myself a pop on. So I'll give, give you, so I'll see you guys shortly. <laughs> Guys, didn't have a chance to dive into my poppadom. Um, I was talking to you guys too much and this has all arrived. Look at the drama on that, the smells. Ooh. Honestly, the smell is incredible. So I've got my four lamb chops in there. 
beautiful coating around them. Take a look at that coating. Oh yeah. I'm going to lift one off there. And underneath you've got the onions there. What can I say? It's got lovely um, griddle marks on the, on the chop. Oh, I really can't wait. I genuinely can't wait. Right, let's dive in. Now I'm just going to use my fingers here. I've got to say, look at the size of that lamb chop though. Mm. That lamb is so succulent. You bite into it and it's melting away. I know everyone says it, but that's just melting away in your mouth. It's obviously been in the tandoor there and you can taste the charcoal effect to it. Oh my God, that is so good. I love the marinade that's around it. It's got a tiny bit of heat. All in all, that is wrong. Actually, that is the word, that is wrong. Mm. The lamb is juicy. Again, when I've had lamb in other restaurants, it's come up a little bit tough and uh, I think it's a very, very tough meat to cook. They do so many of these, they know how to get it right. And uh, they've certainly got this right. I wanna actually, I'm gonna get them all on the plate here so you can see. These are proper portions. These are not small lamb chops. Okay, that little fellow is, is not as big as the other two. But look, take a look at that as a portion. Now that is a portion. And almost, if you work out, you have that with, um, with a naan or some rice, that's a meal within itself, isn't it? Definitely, and I'll tell you what will go well with that. I've got to be careful with my fingers here is that mint yogurt. That will go so perfectly there. Monster impressed here, really impressed. Actually, I do know what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna try some of these onions. Again, I don't want them getting too burnt there on the skillet. Look at the color there. All the juices there from them chops have come in there. Beautifully caramelized as well. I'll make a mess on them. Oh God, they're hot. Mm. Flavour coming through from the onion. Excellent crunch in there as well. I'm nothing short of amazed how good these are. Now I'm just going to add some mint, this mint sauce to it. Just put that over there. Now I don't want to drown it because the flavour from the from the lamb itself, I don't want to overtake them at all. So. Hmm, that's a lovely sauce. However, I'm not gonna put any more on. And I'll tell you why. Since we've been doing curry houses on the channel, I can tell you they are the best lamb chops I've had. Bar none, absolutely bar none. The flavors and the fact they are so tender and so big. Monster impressed. Well, my mains are here now. Oh, didn't make them lamb chops. Oh, do you know why I didn't mention the coriander on there as well? Fresh coriander really zings it out, really good, brings your, your mouth alive. Now, take a look at the presentation there. So I've got my coray chicken. Take a look at that there. Actually a fair bit of um, ghee in there. But look at the chunks of chicken, wow. One thing I've got to say, the smell is coming off that. Incredible. I'm going to have my sagaloo. It's a very deep um, green that is as well. And that's obviously where they really ground the um, spinach up. 
dipped in a garlic naan. Now, if I was blindfolded, I definitely could tell you that was a garlic naan. The smell of garlic coming off there, bang, bam. And my pillow rice there. So, where am I gonna start? Let's start with the chicken. Now, let's try not to get this all over the uh, table, Gary. And let's get some of that sauce in there as well. Told you the weather doesn't know what to do with itself. One minute it's raining and it's brilliant sunshine again. Okay, let's cut into the chicken. Oh yes. Just cutting through again, just so you can see. I can already tell you, that is very juicy, that chicken. That is excellent. That's perfectly cooked. Okay, look at that karahi sauce. Okay, very, very rich. It's got lots of tomato flavor in there. It hasn't got much heat. Um, there's a tiny bit, um, but I wouldn't say it's mild, but there's, there's not a huge amount of heat there, which I think is really good. I'm gonna put that on there, but as a combination, God, stop. I like that. Now, what I want to do is try something a little bit different. I want to try bring the rice over here and just try the rice with it. So just put a little bit of rice in there. Not sure what that fella is. I'm going to put it on there and give it a try. Actually, I'm not, no. I think that's uh, uh, a cardamom pod. So put that there. Now, let's get the, the rice in there, get all the juice into the rice and have it with a big piece of chicken. Look at all that. Heaven. I've got to say, when I've done the fowl challenge, I made a big mistake. I didn't bother with the rice. Definitely need it. Nice rice. Now, onto this sag aloo. As I said, it's got a deep green flat color to it. Actually, let's just cut that potato there. Now, strangely, that's a new potato. I wasn't expecting that. New potato. Yeah. Spinach, you really taste the spinach in there. Yeah. Actually, a tiny bit of heat coming through there. Hmm. Yeah, there's a little bit of heat coming through there. Now, let's try it with some uh, naan. As I said, that is coated, absolutely coated in uh, garlic. Let's get as much on there as possible. Look at that. All that spinach. Here. Yeah. Again, the spinach that's in there. I do like my spinach. Should have more muscle, really, shouldn't I? Nice flavour. They've got some onion in there as well. Yeah. And as I said, a little bit of a kick at the end. So a little bit of chilli kick there. All in all, full of flavour. That is packed full of flavour. Incredible. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to tuck in. One thing I will mention to you again, is the amount of garlic on there. Because that's what I meant to say. You've got the garlic cutting through. And um, kind of, if you like, a little bit too much garlic. Because again, you've got the, the garlic can, can sort of overpower and what have you. So the garlic and the spinach together, yeah, that would, that's fine, that works, but a lot of garlic. So if I was coming here again, I'll probably go for a different, I could probably go for a plain one, to be honest. And that, that, that bring the flavors out a lot more. All in all, I can't complain. Cannot complain at all. Everything is so packed, full of that flavour. Different flavours. I'll tell you what, I can see why this is London's most popular curry house easily. Weekends, you struggle to get in here. People queuing up outside. And that's considering how big it is. But I can tell you, I fully understand why. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck in. I'll see you guys shortly. Yeah, all around. 
I honestly can't get my head around the chops to start with, and then this combination as well. Ooh, that took a bit of time, I'll tell you. Now, one of the things I didn't mention to you was the sauces. You take a look over here. Um, didn't have time to go through them all. Um, that was um, a little bit spicy, that one, but not over the top, wasn't overpowering. I like the mango and that mint sauce went brilliantly with the uh, chops. So yeah, all in all, that's good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and get the bill. What mark would you give it? Obviously I've gotta give you the book with the price first, but I'll give you the breakdown already if you like, but that's quite impressive, wasn't it? Very impressive. See you shortly. So here's my final thoughts. Final thought is this has got to be the biggest restaurant I've ever seen. It's got to be 400 seater easily because it's on so many different levels. Service fantastic, standards amazing, no complaints whatsoever. So, onto the food. Now, them lamb chops, the best I've ever had on the channel. Now, had I come in here and ordered a portion of them lamb chops, I would have said, I'll have another portion of them lamb chops and I would have been absolutely bloated. If I had that with a little bit of rice, do you know what? I would have given this a 10 plus plus star whoop, whoop. absolutely brilliant and i do mean they were the best i've had so succulent tender juicy brilliant flavors to them everything i've, I've said it all already wow if you're ever around in this area you come in here and just get them lamb chops saying that the curry itself the lamb curry sorry the chicken curry oh really enjoyed the intense uh, flavor out of the sauce there chicken was cooked to perfection the sagaloo now I've got to say, that was really good. Wasn't the best, it was very, very good. Now this naan, really loads of garlic in there. Now a bit too much garlic for me, but if you like your garlic, <laughs> that's the one to have. I'll just have a plain one next time, the rice was excellent. Now onto the bill. Now, my lamb chops, £9.95. Um, now I also had the poppet on there, um, unfortunately, I couldn't show you it all, but um, they were two pound for two poppadom. Um, the Korai uh, chicken, twelve pound. The Sagalu, nine pound. The garlic naan, three seventy-five, and the uh, pillow rice, four pound fifty. Grand total of forty-one pound twenty. No service charge. Ooh, we're in London, no service charge. Bear in mind, forty-one pound twenty. Yep, but easily enough there for two people. So yeah, easily enough for two. What mark am I going to give it? Well, I've got to tell you, I've already said if it was just lamb chops, it would have been 10 plus star, star, star. Overall, I'm going to give it nine and a half, nine and a half. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10. As I said, if I just came here for the lamb chops, it would have been 10 plus, 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 plus. I want to thank you all who recommended here. I'm coming back again and again and again. And do you know what? If I'm in the area and the place is too busy, I'm actually just going to get the lamb chops to go without a doubt because they were so good. So thank you very, very much. The other thing is, you're coming here at the weekend, even though it is so big, there's so many covers here, definitely book, guys, because I've read that it is almost impossible to get in here. Well, it's not impossible, but you've got to wait, what have you. So definitely, definitely book. And I'll tell you what, come down here, Tayabs. This is an absolutely top class restaurant. Now, if you could like and subscribe to the channel, you know I always appreciate that. And especially if you've been here, you let me know in that comment section, please. And until next time, a really happy Gary. Bye-bye.